The name of this piece is The Swelling of Consequence. It's made out of a World War II practice bomb and a pair of moose antlers. The piece is an assemblage made from pieces that happened to come together by chance. The bomb came from a war surplus yard. I'm sure the practice bomb has been used. It has some damage on the outside of it that appears to be the result of its use. There used to be a moose head in my grandmother's living room, but eventually my father took charge of the moose head and threw it out in the backyard where it lay on the ground for maybe about eight, nine years. And then he went and sawed the horns off of the head so that he could mount it just as a pair of horns, which I don't think ever really happened, but I wound up with the horns. The bomb was stripped of its paint and sanded extensively and given a coat of lacquer to seal it. A device was made to attach the antlers to the bomb, which was basically a piece of pipe that was welded onto the front of the bomb. The bottom of the bomb needed to be stabilized, so we began pouring lead shot into the base. I see this piece as an object of defense. The antlers came to represent explosion, a sort of static representation of something that was blowing up. It looks like almost a monument to some event that may have happened, like in war or in reference to war.